Hi guys, today I am from Dubai. I am attending Dubai Motor Show for you guys. I am also for me. And we have just got into the hall of displays. We just got in here. Lot of brands over here, uh, which are, some of them are very India centric, some of not. Uh, so I am not uh, going to showcase anything which is only India centric. It will be a, a tour through the Dubai Motor Show for the real auto freak. Actually wanted to showcase you what I really want to show from me and, and to get excited. So just be with me. I uh, will be sharing all the updates I can from here from a point of view of an auto freak to see some of the exciting machines from the world of automobiles. So ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Mercedes AMG Project 1. Friends, this is the most exciting car launch here in Dubai Motor Show for me. It's a Project One hypercar from Mercedes AMG. Uh, they developed this as part of their 50th anniversary. I missed it in Frankfurt, but I so lucky that I could make it here. It's it's an amazing piece. It's a piece of art, I would say, because uh, whatever we've seen in the picture don't justify this car because you have to see it in metal. Uh, the central purity design is very much heavy over here. It's unlike any of the hyper car or the super car. It's not properly been sharpened like uh, most of the car we seen around it's more like the, the central purity design element has brought on here you can see the headlight treatment is very different it's a huge uh, air intake it's a carbon fiber fitted that's a that I'm running light over here and come up uh, I don't think that light enough there are detailing over here which look amazing this uh, this control the air and flow of the car it's amazing the the side view mirror is again has got a lot of aerodynamics the core drag coefficient is very less because of the smooth flow of the car you can see it's very low it's it's very low it's the you know the technology has been derived from formula one it's caught into the road so it's cars sit low like you get the proper feel of a formula one car there's an air intake over here which is again carbon fiber fit it's taken as a fin over the for the controlling the air fin flow you can see around here the suspension system like from the formula one it can be seen over here you can see it here so that's it and uh, the, the the different line silhouette for the car the hip formation the design is very smooth it's very different from what we've seen in normal hyper cars it's brought the central purity design over here and rear is more exciting you see the fin over here lot of engaged busyness you can see you can see the uh, air vents and the, the air inflow in, it's very different the exhaust is different there's a tree knot exhaust which is similar to the formula one there's a fin over here again the carbon fiber finish the trailer treatment everything is very different you're not seeing such kind of design for any Merc car or many of the hypercar I can say the interior can be revealed a bit from here maybe they will open that up later but what from I understood is a cockpit which is very different very minimalistic approach it's got the two screen which again there's actually three screen because for the rear view mirror there's a screen on the top which plays at the review mirror don't have a review mirror and this is the side view mirror and this the car seat is proper like in a formula one sits low backers can be adjusted apart from adjusting the seat you can adjust the pedal and the steering so that's what i got to know there's a lot of air and flow being designed here it suits very low it's so exciting to see the car i'm using my words so this is the future of mercedes hypercar and it is an amazing piece a lot of input has been uh, came from the formula one as technology you know it's a 1.6 liter v, uh, v6 petrol engine uh, meter to four motors which wants uh, use for the turbo uh, generation the turbo because to avoid the lag which is somewhat like a supercharger then three uh, motor which one is connected to the rear for both wheels and two in the front means it's a four wheel drive and it's called eq power plus and this is the what uh, amg form of hybridization and this will be proper 0 to 200 in less than second second uh, which is uh, in the bracket of Chiron and it's having an output of more than 1000 HP 350 plus kilometer is the uh, maximum speed clogged uh, mentioned by uh, Mercedes so far they are not disclosed any proper detail of the car but this is going to be a piece the piece for the future with Formula 1 technology on the road in a safer manner it's exciting
There's one more exciting concept over here in the Mercedes stall, which is the AMG Fodo Coupe concept, which was revealed much earlier. It has the EQ Power Plus powertrain with the hybrid powertrain. It can propel um, 800 HP. That's the technical highlight of this car, and it is the answer for Mercedes when to the Porsche Panamera. It'll be coming into the production very soon, and it's gonna uh, maintain the same design philosophy, which is very unique and uh, futuristic one. And it completes the GT family with a photo coupe. It looks very exciting. It has got a lot of elements from the GT uh, design, but it has its own unique characters. And it could be one of the most exciting and most important for more model for Mercedes AMG in future because uh, this is gonna be a volume seller because of the four door, uh, four passenger concept because it is more practical and can be used day to day uh, purpose. The design is exciting. You can see a lot of uh, design cues which are from GT uh, form into a sedan form and it's look exciting you can see all the details and there's one more launch which is interesting i'll show you So this is the next India centric model which is the Mercedes Mabar. This is the S650 which is a V12 one with a new V12 engine, 630 HP and 1000 and above torque. I know there's sound disturbance but I had to rush. So this having a new wheel design which is exciting, the plated one. There's one more wheel which is exciting for me. Uh, this is a normal Mabar with a facelift to it. You know S-Class is gonna come this facelift uh, nearly next year to India. And this Mabar is, uh, is the top end S-Class variant as of now you can see the x50 uh, batch so it has been replaced from 600 to s650 the changes one is this uh, new crystal tail light which we have seen in e-class but more reflecting here in the s-class new more organic kind of uh, tail pipe for the my bike there's a different kind uh, there's a split inside and there's a chrome addition which looked again exciting a uh, lot more changes are actually in the front which I'll show you and as you know Maiba is one of the ultimate luxury sedans and this now as Mercedes claim is the most quietest sedan in the world so this is the place where that silence is getting this is the rear compartment which we already seen and it's very similar additions are the new uh, wireless uh, induction charger for the mobile phone uh, the screen is a bit better that's everything which is known for the Mercedes Mabar. It's a, a first class quality reclinable seat which is uh, the highlight. Second highlight in interior is the new screen. There's a split now. There's a one piece uh, screen which again is a, a new good move which has a good uh, uh, quality new generation graphic. New steering wheel which is three spoke. We're replacing the two spoke which was classic and I really loved that. But somehow that production of that wheel is not much, so new sharing wheel replaces. Like there was a bit of uh, quality issues earlier on the alignments of the interior which has been improved with the new uh, Maiba edition or the new S-Class. So all these changes are come but rest everything was top notch so they retained the same thing. And the most uh, biggest highlight about the facelift is in the front which is the new LED headlight. Uh, with uh, the three multi-beam uh, design. Three means it's uh, like giving the grade uh, for the officers in army. Uh, you know, we got two for the E-Class, there's one for the C-Class and three for the S-Class. So, it's a top and car. The new grille, it's a double slack grille which has been retained in the Maybach earlier. But similar thing got into the new Maybach. But the small vertical uh, inside, highlight inside which actually tell us this is a Maybach. It's a new uh, bumper treatment. It's a new wider V uh, event fully covered with chrome that's most exciting so these are the changes for the new uh, s-class and the maiba s-class is also over here i'll show you a glimpse of that that's what we're going to come to india early next year